Please. You're not bro. Stop it. Stop it. Jim, man, come on. Don't play with him. Jim is in the keys. Here you go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, How you doing? Not too much. So we were late to Jamaat prayer, uh, but they told us uh, when I was talking to Muslims online, they said, go to your local mosque. Uh, maybe a mom or somebody will be open to talking to you in person about the prophets and stuff like that. And so they have, we just have interfaith dialogue. I'm a Christian, okay. we're Christians here. And that's what we do. So Can I get your name? Yeah, Avery. Avery? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sheriar. Sheriar? What does that mean? Uh, it means, um, technically, it's the name of a Persian king. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Are you Persian yourself? I'm uh, Pakistani, but. Like, you know, Pakistani Afghani. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Okay. Well, yeah, so we was just basically asking, like, the basic questions. What you what you believe about the prophets, uh, specifically, like, Jesus? Because uh, that's obviously, for us Christians, it's the most important one. Well, how, how do you see Jesus? Um, well, I mean, definitely, you know, uh, just as you, you know, we believe that Jesus, you know, we call him Isa. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, definitely we believe that he's very important figure in the Islamic history and the Islamic society yeah and also his mother you know peace be upon her you know there's a whole chapter in the Quran named after her yeah right, yeah right? yeah um, there's a lot of respect giving to Jesus to where he's known as the word of God mm -hmm. yeah 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 that yeah I read that I, I got my Quran too so I, I, I read a lot about that which has fascinated me yeah, I mean definitely we have the utmost respect for Jesus mm -hmm. uh, you know and he's a prophet of God he's someone who is close to God yeah someone chosen by God obviously we don't believe in his divinity mm -hmm. you know, we don't believe that he's the son of God yeah yeah we don't believe that he is God and you know, we don't believe in the Trinity but yeah. definitely we do believe in the you know respecting Mm -hmm. the status of jesus yeah and uh you know we also apply that respect by you know trying to become be like jesus okay you know, in, in his worship of god for sure and his obedience to god so so this is the, this is what's like um gets me is you know the respect that you guys do have for the prophets like i'm, I'm very familiar with like i, I trust me I, I read the quran i've even re looked into hadiths and stuff like that tafsir and so i look at commentaries and things of this nature and um a lot of times even like when i see like dawah booths online on youtube and stuff i see that they say that jesus was a muslim now as a christian i'm like whoa what <laughs> you know i thought right. that you know islam didn't come until muhammad right. so but you know so for you, obviously, you believe that Jesus was, in, you believe all the prophets were, were Muslims. Yeah. So uh, demonstrate to me, like, why you believe that Jesus historically was a Muslim. Well, I mean, it's like, uh, if you look at Muslim from a different perspective, just because, you know, you're looking at modern day Muslims, mm -hmm. they associate with Islam, so they're called Muslims. Yeah. But, you know, Muslim in the sense that they fully submit to God. Mm -hmm. Every single prophet, every single person who believed in God is yeah. considered a Muslim. Okay. Uh, you know, not in the sense that there is a technical religion with, you know, uh, bylaws and rules and regulations and these things, but in the sense that, in in principle, they were all Muslim, submitting themselves to God, uh, understanding that there is no help, you know, that there is no uh, harm, no good, no bad, no benefit that can come to them except through God. Yeah. Okay. Right? And so it's a, it's a fundamental belief of one God. Submitting to that submitting one, God, to one God, and that's what you that's why you guys apply the definition of Muslim. Muslim. Okay, and that's what you know in Arabic Islam means submission. Doesn't okay, it, you know, obviously, you know, some ind individuals say means peace. Uh, one I've heard that word too, yeah. of Islam, salam, means peace, mm. right? But Islam means to submit. Okay, yeah. so, so like, can I, okay, so let's uh, because this is interesting, so I want to challenge this a little bit, okay? So with all the prophets believing in one God, which I obviously agree as well as a Christian, right? And they had the same message and stuff like that. Now, um, but when a Muslim says submit to one God and submit to the God, right? Um, that comes with a meaning. Like it can't just be any God that you say, right? I, I can't say that I submit to a statue and that's my one God and therefore I'm a Muslim, right? Like I, I, it has to be the specific concept of God that we find yeah. really that you, you say in Islam and, and that you believe the rest of the prophets taught, right? So, so just off of what I've seen, reading the Quran, I've seen, you know, uh, like chapter 112, right? Uh, you know, he's, he's uh, only one, right? There's, he doesn't beget nor is begotten and stuff like that. He has no children, he has no sons, he's not the father, right? So um, it's, this, it's this particular concept of, of Allah, of God, that you have to submit to to be a Muslim, right? So, so then, yeah, so that would be my next question then is, so how would you demonstrate to me as a Christian, right? That Jesus submitted to the same concept of God that you as a Muslim submit to? Well, I mean, you know, we see, we, for us, to, we see in the Quran, right? Mm -hmm. What Jesus said to God, what Isa alayhi salam said to Allah. You know, Allah is giving a, uh, a picture 
of what was going to happen on the day of judgment. Yeah. And he's going to ask him that did you tell, did you, oh Jesus, tell your people to worship yourself and your mother? Mm -hmm. Or to take yourself and your mother as uh, gods or someone who has some sort of share in the divinity mm -hmm. of God. And so you know, Jesus will reply, Isa alayhi salam, he will reply. He will say that, you know, if I did this, then you would you would know. Mm -hmm. You know, now from the beginning now, Jesus is submitting to God. Mm -hmm. From the beginning. In terms of applying the fact that, you know, and affirming the fact that no knowledge uh, escapes God. There's nothing that can escape Allah. Yeah. You know, no, Allah knows everything. Yeah. You know, Allah encompasses everything. Yeah. Uh, and then from the aspect that forgive, and then Isa says, you know, alayhi salam, he says that forgiveness is in your hand. For mm. Punishment is in your hand. So, you know, he is submitting from before. And then in Surah Maryam, chapter 19, right? Yeah. He says, Inni Abdullah. That I am the slave of Allah when he's in, you know, he's, he's a child. When he's baby. born. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is him submitting to God from the beginning, from mm -hmm. the birth all the way till the end. Now, now as we see. So I understand that from a Quranic perspective, right? Now, if we were to, if you were to demonstrate that to me as a Christian, because like as a Christian, I don't necessarily believe in the Quran. I, I'm reading it. I, and I'm seeing, I'm seeing its claims. I see what it says about Jesus, right? I see it says that he's a slave of Allah, believed in Allah, things of this nature. Now, as a Christian, I would be like, okay, does this match historically with Jesus though? Because I see the claim. Now, how, how, would, how would you demonstrate to me as a Christian? Like, yes, like historically, you know, Jesus, this was Jesus's beliefs. This was Jesus's, how he practiced his religion. Well, I mean, for that, you know, it's, it, it, it takes some time, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot longer discussion, like your discussion. Yeah. Back in the um, um, validity of, of the scriptures, the validity of the, you know, narrations of certain, of history, of the history of Jesus, mm. the history of Christianity and all, and all these things. Yeah. So, you know, like, to be completely honest, I can't at the moment show you anything or okay. give you anything from That's, a historical that, I love that honest Christian answer. perspective where Jesus, you know, um, submitted to God. Mm -hmm. Simply because, you know, you would, you know, it's history, it's historical, yeah. it's, it's not validated. So, right. so this this is what I would say to because and first of all I want to I appreciate your honesty on that like not trying to just give well, an I mean, answer to like give. It, it would take a while like, yeah there's a whole, it's take some time not just but it, there's a whole like discussion that that's had you know there's, mm -hmm. I'd have to present with present you with you know uh, facts and narrations and mm -hmm. these things things that I just don't have on me right now yeah that's yeah, that's fine that's fine I understand so 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 with this topic then because um, when, when I read the Quran because you mentioned validity of the scriptures right. And so another thing that was important to me was how the Quran talks about the previous scriptures. Um, and so how it says that we're supposed to follow the gospel, the Torah was revealed from Allah and things of this nature. And, you know, um, even, you know, the Quran and Muhammad's coming is in the scriptures. So the Jews and Christians have no reason to reject them. Right. Do, are you of the opinion, though, because I've, I've heard this, that the scriptures, the Torah and the gospel have been corrupted? Yes. OK, so, the, so now this I, I believe we could. Take, do you have a well? Uh, my Quran is in the car, but you know, this is this. I love this subject because from what I see, I see that the Quran says the, the opposite that the scriptures are preserved. What you, go, go ahead, talk, talk to me. Well, no, I mean, I, I think you know, you're, you're maybe you know, you haven't read the Quran fully in depth. You know, there's there's the mentioning where Allah mentions, you know, they, that the people of the books they did tahrif. You know, tahrif is switching of the words, you know, distorting the, the language and all mm -hmm. of that, you know. Let's talk about that. That they were, you know, distorting, doing tahrif mm -hmm. uh, of the of the words from their places. Meaning, of, they were distorting the message and the true word. Right. No, so that's 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 good right there. Because I, I checked that verse. I think that's in chapter 5, verses like 13 or 14, one of those verses. But, uh, what's up, man? Yeah, you busy, I know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. You want to... Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you didn't want to talk? Uh, no, I mean, you're talking about... He's, he's the mom, man. He's, he's, he's open for the conversation. He's, it's awesome. Yeah, we're, we're talking about the. <laughs> we're, we're talking about whether or not the Quran talks about if the scriptures have been corrupted, and so he talked about the verse about how they're changing from their from their places. No, no, it's not YouTube. The camera adds like fifty pounds, so I don't want to. Uh, stupid. What, what is the camera for? So yeah, so I I do blogging myself, and so I do I got a website and uh, with interfaith dialogues, and I do have a YouTube channel, and so I try to go around and, I, and have interfaith dialogues with Muslims. I started going to the mosque now, okay. so they told me, hey, go to your local mosque, and maybe your mom will talk to you. So yeah. let me before you move on. Were you born Muslim? I'm just curious. Yes. Okay, so are you South Asian? Uh, yeah. So either Indian or Pakistani. Okay. Hmm. You're the Imam here. Yeah. Not to go off topic, what does Amir Ana mean? 
That, um, just named after the individual that bought this place and donated for the masjid. Yeah, you know, just give so it honor and respect. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you guys are talking about scripture. He brought up what passage? Oh, he, he mentioned how the Quran, not specific passage, but he mentioned how the Quran talks about how they, you know, change words from the right places. Like, and he said that like they distort the meanings and interpretations of it and stuff like that. So that's basically where we're where we're at. So we're just about to touch I mean, on that. It's very hard when you don't have like the Quran or the Bible to show verse because I know what the verses you're referring to. Mm -hmm. Most popularly that the Muslims use will be chapter three or seventy eight. But it says they distort it with their tongue. So obviously that's an interpretation, not the text, right? Well, I mean, still, you know, um, uh, distorting doesn't just like writing wasn't as common as you know back then as it is now. Yeah. So for, for the Arabs, the way, for anybody, right? So preservation was most i mean just because it was there's it mentions that they're distorting with the tongue doesn't negate the fact that there was a distortion of text hmm. right you know it doesn't negate uh, yeah. that fact. well the reason why i say that because even by the time of muhammad you had already thousands of copies of the bible in various languages you had it in latin you had it in syriac you had it in sahidic coptic you had it in greek and hebrew and so you also had two committees you had the jews and the christians the jews were following their scriptures and the christians took their scriptures as part of their so no Jew would agree with a Christian to corrupt the Jewish scriptures to agree with Christian theology. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they wouldn't agree with that. Are you busy? Because you're looking yeah, at... Yeah, I'm going to have to... All right. Maybe right. um, we we'll come back and talk. I don't know. You know yeah, no worries. Why don't you do this? Take uh, information. If you have a Muslim da'i, yeah, yeah. someone who's trained in like... The, no, uh, definitely. Yeah, you know. Let him uh, meet yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, I'll, I'll yeah, definitely talk to him. Yeah. yeah. So, I, if you if you have anybody, I, uh, yes. is there a way to reach them or contact them? you can contact them. Because I'm sure you have... You don't have to give me their numbers. Definitely. You have a card or something? I don't have a card, but you oh. can just call this message. It's, it, it's forwarded to my phone. Okay. So the days that I don't answer, you just gonna have to try another day and okay. I'll answer. But you are aware of people who do that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're okay, good. Okay. For sure, yeah. So, well, hey, I, what was your name again? Sherry R. Sherry R. I definitely appreciate Sherry? the conversation. Sherry R. Sherry R. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Better to set him up tomorrow, and he'll be willing to talk. Okay, so let's do it. You wanna? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's up to you. I don't okay. wanna because it's your, it's your, you know, like the parade. Man, you here, man? You, you, you in Vegas? You are our guest, man. All right, so I'm gonna go live in 40 minutes. After that, I'm done. Are you recording me, bro? Yeah, I'll we're recording you, man. Bro. We getting in here, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You kind of look a little. What? You've been, you've been doing, <laughs> you've been doing this thing on, here, man. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Go ahead and do it. This. I haven't hit weights in a while, but I gotta do this. I gotta <laughs> see, bro. Come on, man. See that, bro? See? Come on now. Yeah, that's tough, man. That's why he's right. What's up? What's up? How do I look, man? What's up? That's why the imam had to go. <laughs> he only does chess. And I haven't done no working out about whatsoever. But I better not look fat, dude. If I do, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> I want to learn more.